Hey, what's up guys? We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. I've got another Amp Dyno video. Today, by request, it is the Soundstream Tarantula Extreme 18,000 watt TXP1 dot 18,000 D. It says it's an extreme power class D monoblock amplifier. It's one ohm stable. It does appear to be full bridge. And uh, I've got it hooked up here on the bench to dyno today. Uh, looking at it, I'll be honest, the thing looks cheaply made. It's a $300 amp. It says it does 18,000 watts. So we'll see about that. Uh, it did come with the amp. Uh, came with a base knob, a standard telephone jack base knob. This one has a power LED, but no clip LED. Came with some mounting brackets. There are no feet to mount the amp itself. And it did come with the toolkit, which is nice to have the proper Allen wrenches. Uh, here's the manual. Zoom in here for you guys. It says, 18,000 watts max power, 7,000 watts at 1 ohm, 3,600 watts at 2 ohms, 1,800 watts at 4 ohms, and voltage 9 to 16 volts operating voltage. We're around 15.2 volts today, 15.3 uh, volts. So there's the tarantula, I've got it hooked up, a 1 watt cable to the C-Max. I am charging today, got the chargers on. Um, that's about it. One thing to note, I have very little faith that this amp will survive one ohm anything. So today, I'm gonna do my normal runs. We're gonna do certified, then uncertified, then dynamic. But I'm only gonna do two and four ohm. We will finish with one ohm runs, because I, I believe it'll be the death of the amp. Hopefully I'm, I'm wrong on that, but we'll see. So we've got it ready, certified runs. Two ohms. The dyno did the thing it does. I'm gonna restart this. I really think, I think this is my head unit that's doing this. I might switch to uh, USB instead of using the actual CD. I think it does this when I push play. All right, 3,781 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.7 volts. This is wild, because I didn't expect that. Reset my meter. And we'll do a whoops, four ohm run. I think this said it was 1800 watts at four ohms. Two thousand two hundred twenty seven watts into four ohms. This is certified, dropping to fifteen volts. And actually, put this aside for a minute. Let's go into uncertified. Uncertified goes all the way to distortion. Again, starting at two ohms. Uncertified, starting at 15.3 volts. Holy, 3,997 watts into two ohms. 
drop to 14.6 volts all the way to clipping sorry i said distortion uncertified goes all the way to clipping and four ohms starting at 15.3 volts Two thousand three hundred four watts into four ohms, dropping to fourteen point nine volts. That's pretty good numbers for four ohms. All right, dynamic. This is burst power. This is supposed to replicate music. Again, I'm going to start at two ohms. Starting at fifteen point two nine volts. All right, 3,926 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.6 volts and four ohms. Starting at 15.3 volts. almost 2300 watts 2296 watts into four ohms dropped to 14.93 volts pretty good numbers so far i guess the question is will it do a one ohm run so we're going to do dynamic one ohm to start I haven't done this yet, like I said, I think the amp will break, but let's see. One ohm dynamic starting at 15.2 volts. Woo! 6,241 watts into one ohm dropped to 14.9 volts not bad but also not the 1000 or i'm sorry the 7000 watts it was rated all right certified runs at one ohm hold on to your butts starting at 15.25 See if we get our 7,000 watts. Oh, fire! Like I thought. Like I thought. Fire, protect. It did do 5,496 watts before it happened. I forgot to bring the clamp back over, not that it matters. Oh, it stinks. Guys, we'll be back once I get the back plate off. And we're back. I've got the amp plates off the best I could. It looks like this has actually slid together when they assemble it uh, but you can see it is a full bridge design I have to imagine this is one of the Chinese full bridge designs sorry the light isn't the best um, looks like we lost some output fits along with who knows what um, quick look at the amp before I give you my final thoughts um, so the the amp plate here, it's its honestly, it's reminiscent of the old HD series of tar amps, except uh, it's, a, it's a little different. So you've got protect clip power light up oh, next to your speaker outputs. Those were a little small. I used 12 gauge on the dyno. My 12 gauge barely fit in it. 
So protect clip power it has uh, the plug for the base knob has a base boost 35 to 70 Hertz 0 to 12 dB gain on that then you see the gain knob the low pass filter is 80 to 20,000 Hertz and the high pass filter is 15 to 80 Hertz um, it does have a single input and a single output for the RCAs if you can see that um, the power end does have one aught pretty good sized one aught cable inputs um, and those did work good on the one aught welding cable I used okay so back to the amp and my final thoughts on it you guys uh, I know it popped on the one ohm run that doesn't make it a bad amp um, my predictions were really correct on this um, some of the earlier full bridge stuff from Brazil uh, would not perform would not survive really uh, at the rated impedance reactively on the dyno um, that said if you were to go home take this amp and wire a subwoofer to one ohm you'll be just fine uh, because of impedance rise uh, the dyno has zero impedance rise it is a reactive load one ohm is one ohm and that's actually not how it plays in the car so looking at the numbers that this amp put out uh, before we tried the one ohm run i'm still very impressed uh had i gone back and done uh you know something higher than one ohm resistive 1.3 something higher than that it, it would have done just fine i, I believe um, the only real issue is going to be if you were to wire this below one ohm or if you do what I did and run it on a dyno at one ohm. Other than that, uh, you know, the numbers are there. It did well overrated uh, at two and four ohms. Um, it's just that little disclaimer that if you wired to one ohm, uh, you need to have some, some rise involved. So that's all I've got for you guys. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little eventful. Uh, please give me a comment, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell so you guys know when I post a new video. And I appreciate you all. We'll see you next time.